hello there. Um, one question that I get pretty frequently that I thought that I'd address today is the question about how do you um, make time for writing, especially since people find out that I'm a 16 year old girl, um, I'm in my senior year of high school, so obviously I have a lot of stuff on my plate, so how do I find time to write and how do I time find to write books and to travel and to speak and all the different things that I do. And um, a lot of people ask me, you know, do you not have a social life or do you not have time for school work? I don't know what it is about me that makes people think that I don't have a social life. Maybe I'm more awkward than I realized I am. or Maybe it's because I'm a homeschooler. I don't know. But yeah, I do have a social life. I do have friends. Um, and I do have schoolwork, like I said, in my senior year of high school. But I've found time to, um, to be able to do all three things. To be able to work, to be able to do school, and to be able to hang out with my friends and family. And it's not easy, um, but it's doable. The number one thing you have to learn how to do is you have to learn how to prioritize. Uh, my mom and dad are always very firm with me. School comes first. You can't write books, you can't travel, you can't do anything unless you're doing well in school, unless you're passing all your subjects and you're getting things done on time. And so that's my biggest priority right now, at least until I'm finished with high school in the spring, is um, to be doing school. And um, also I think that you just have to find time to write. It's hard when you're doing school all the time to be able to find time to write, but you have to make time. Um, whether it means staying up later than usual and a lot of times I do my writing in the evenings after the whole day is through and everyone's gone to bed or I wake up early in the mornings and do it. I mean a lot of people, uh, teenagers sleep in until 10 or 11 o'clock on Saturday. Why not wake up at 6.30 or 7 and write for 3 or 4 hours before you go about and um, do all the other stuff that you have to do for the weekend. And um, a big thing I think is don't sacrifice your social life in order to write. I mean, unless you idolize writing and you hold it above everything else, you're just going to end up um, hating yourself and hating having to stay home and work on um, your book or whatever when all your friends are out having fun. If you are a teenager, you need to have time to act like a teenager and to be like a teenager. And you do want to make time for your friends and for your family and to enjoy life and to have fun. And writing should always be something that's enjoyable and something that you can do um, in your downtime, something I do in my downtime. So you want to make sure you prioritize, you want to make sure you get all your schoolwork done. You can write in the evenings, you can write early in the morning, whatever it takes. But you want to make sure that you have your priorities straight and that you're having a good time, that you're enjoying life and enjoying these years of your life. And um, writing should just be a fun thing that you do on the side. That's all it is for me and um, it's been going pretty well so far. So um, hopefully I'm doing things right and hopefully you'll be able to figure things out for yourself as well.